Good day. This is Tormented Emu, and welcome to my first video uh, showcasing the Object Manipulator mod. So the first thing I did was started up a brand new game, and I'm just gonna use the horse here uh, for demonstration. This is the reason why I actually created the mod in the first place. I needed to uh, create the IK positions for the hands and the feet, and I found that when you use the XML you kind of don't really know what a specific value is going to do where it's going to turn in once you get into the game so this item here is going to show you what it looks like in the game and it's going to allow you to copy those values and put them into your xml once you've refined it as you know as close as you can get okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to press f1 to open this console here we're going to type cm to get the creative mode on <laughs> it was already on and DM to turn on the debug mode we're gonna open our menu open the creative bag we're gonna make sure that dev blocks are on okay we're gonna type TE underscore to find the object manipulator handgun and we'll place it in the, our hand now, I just recently made an update to the mod, so the first time you hold it, it doesn't automatically pop up the control panel. So we're going to right click to enable it. And the first object that we're gonna be attached to is the player. So right now we're looking at the player's position, rotation and scale, but we can actually change that now. So if you notice when I hover over the horse you'll see a little red circle that's what the gun is trying to target and it can target colliders if they're appropriately named obviously I need to finish this horse but one of the other things I have is a little primitive cube there it kinda shows you where we're targeting the transform that we're actually targeting so once you're in debug mode, you can actually press F5 to get the third person view. And if you press the P key, you can move your character forward. So you can move around. Now if you press the open bracket key, which is right beside the P, you can actually move the camera instead rather than the player. Okay press the open bracket again to go back to moving the player okay with the mod you can press the F2 key to activate the cursor which allows you to press the buttons or type in values here you okay so we can change what to whatever transform you want to in the game based off your current transform so the root is going to be the players, which houses all of the players in the game. Since I'm the only one in this game, I'll be the only one. And you can see by um, going to the parent, and it switches to players. And if you see child, that's the first one, that's me. If you press sibling, you'll see that there's no other players in the game currently. So we can go to child zero. It's always going to go to child zero. And then we'll just cycle through siblings until you find what you want. Okay, here's the graphics. I know that's where the mesh is going to be for the player. Model. The player ragdoll. Uh, let me see if there's any siblings here. Nope. So this basically houses the mesh for the entire character. You can actually switch off the animator so she doesn't move around when you... Tr when you're trying to manipulate things. This is a new feature I just added with uh, the patch as well. Uh, let's see. You can also do a search. Uh, let's look for the gun joint. You have to type it exactly as it's spelt. So we're gonna find it and it did find the gun joint. It's all the way, way, it's a long address. And then basically we can push the set button and now you'll notice that it changes the transform. Your current transform is the gun joint. 
Now we can set that to the child zero, which is going to be my handgun. And see the primitive cube updates. You can see the position of the gun. So let me press F2 and go back and move around. You can see exactly what, kind of what it looks like. So let me press F2 again. And what this can do is allow you to manipulate the position of the current transform, which currently we're working on the pistol prefab. So let's try position X. It's going to affect the local position only because the position is um, it's it put in place by the parent. So we can actually just click position X and we can increase it by 0 0.1 so you can see what it does. See it moved it. So now you can kind of see how much something moves. We can decrease it, which will put it right back in its place. You can make smaller increments by just um, adding a zero. And then you can increase to the right of the character or decrease to the left. And you can see that in the local position here, where it's minus zero one. And there. That's pretty close to zero. You can also change the scale of an item, the rotation, or you could change the scale of all axes like X, Y, and Z. So let's show you scale all, and we can make this gun larger. And you can see it just growing ever so slightly. Another thing, you can turn off the primitive cube so it's not in the way. Okay, um, let's turn off the animator as well. Did you see her head move? See how she doesn't actually move? Now, um, let me go up to the parent, which is the right hand. I'm going to change the rotation on the X value and let's go by one. And we're going to we're going to rotate to do do do. Yeah, that's kind of funky when it does that. <laughs> click off of this and then press the F2 again and you can see look I've manipulated the hand you can't do this if the animator is on and unfortunately once you enable the animator it's going to go right back to where it is the animator forces the hand in a certain position okay so let's just turn the animator back on Let's get out of cursor mode. Let's go back into first person. So we're going to press P. We're going to press F5. I'm just going to show you what um, the position the hand IK is in. So first we need to get on the horse here. Now, let's see. Go into P and then open brackets and we'll zoom in closer so that is the IK position on the right hand that's set to zero 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 for position and rotation so as you can see it doesn't look very pretty and when you're trying to change the values in XML and then load the game and then check to see what effect that had and you find out that that's wrong then you have to shut the game down and you have to change the values and you got to go back into the game that takes a lot of time a lot of energy so with this tool we're just going to press F2 get the cursor active and we're going to cycle through the 
transforms here. We're going to look for the reins. Let's go to parent, parent, parent. I th think right hand IK. Let's see if we could find it. I did. Okay, I'm going to set it. Let me just turn on the primitive and see. Did that work? Oh. Right hand IK. Okay. So I have a little bug to fix with the cube not updating when you set it. No worries. I'll just turn that off. I don't need the primitive in the in the way here. So here's our local position for the right hand IK, local rotation. So I'm just going to start messing with the rotation. Let's start with X. And we're just going to increase it by, well, let's do one. You get a bit more dramatic effect that way. We're going to increase, and, and you can see it moving. You can see which way. So right now we're at 28, and you can see what it's all what, it, what it's doing already. So if you want to move your camera around, uh, click off because right now our cursor is in the box. We need to click it off. Now we can press F2 again, and our camera can move. You can get a better view. Okay, we could press F2 again. Let's try moving our hand up. It looks a little high, so we're going to go to position Y. We're going to, way too high, see? So we need to probably do 0 0.01. We're going to increase that. Okay, that looks good. Now let's try rotating the Y axis. I don't think that's the way I want to rotate it. No. Nope. I think I want to keep going with the, the X axis. Click off the cursor, press F2. Okay, we're starting to see. Press F2 again. Let me try rotation X. Mm hmm. Still too low. We need to move it up a bit. And we're a bit too close to the other hand. We need to move it to our right. I believe that's position X. Wow, that looks pretty good. We'll click off, we'll press F2, and we'll just, uh, I'd say that looks pretty good to me. <laughs> now it doesn't, it doesn't match up, but that doesn't matter. That's, okay, so now I will press open bracket. I'll press P, and now we're back on our horse. And now we can see, as we move around, that position is looks pretty good. Looks pretty good to me. So I'm happy with that. Yeehaw. <laughs> so now what we can do, we can press F2 again, get the cursor mode. Now that we have we like this rotation, we can just highlight this, these values, control C, copy them, we can tab into our XML file or code file, whatever you're, wherever you're going to use these values. And there you have it. You've now got the exact values 
for your rotation and you can also set your position as well. You can highlight and copy paste the positions for your right hand IK. You can also do this for any position that you need setting like a gun placement or foot. And you press F, uh, click off of the screen, hit F2. You can also adjust your feet IK as well, which I've already done to put them in a really good spot there where it looks realistic and it doesn't clip. And I think that's all for today's video. So if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, bugs, uh, please let me know down in the comments or you can find me in Guppyker's Discord. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.